guys and welcome back to my channel so this is what our young bird is looking like our young chicken henry bud <laughs> so he's ready to go inside the oven and i just put a little bit more oil in there so that we can get a good crisp on um the other side and i'm just gonna put a few more of these rosemary um dry rosemary on to the chicken So they can get a good um, flavor of the rosemary. But I am so impressed. And my mom saw it. She was very impressed. She was like, you go, girl. I guess you're making Thanksgiving um, this year. You're making um, Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, okay. Never mind. So <laughs> I, lo I always love when mom cook Thanksgiving. I I'm, I'm new at, like, trying to do just, like, anything for thanksgiving i normally make like the cookies and stuff like that homemade but um mom normally cook you know but anyways um i hope you guys are doing well today i'm doing great um and i'm glad and glad and excited you guys showed up to watch uh the rest of how i cook the um lemon uh the lemon and uh lemon and rosemary uh chicken um you know, inspired by my girl David can cook, but she um said to put the oven on 400 and something degrees. But I decided I want my, you know, my young chicken to cook a little slower, so I can get those juices flowing, so I can get that, you know, that tenderness, but not so tender. I'm not trying to cut cook him like really quick because I still got the whole day. It's still young. It's only 1:56 on Monday. So, um, yeah, you guys. So, what I'm going to do is take this lovely foil and wrap him up so that he can cook um, evenly. And then, um, I'm going to do that for 45 minutes. And then, after the 45 minutes, I'll take it off. And then, he'll begin to um, get his color, his brown, pretty brown color. And um, start to cook evenly, you know, through. And then, after um, probably another... 20 to 25 minutes or 25 to 30 minutes I'll check on him again and hopefully he'll be done um, I think it's gonna take about an hour for him to cook um, maybe 45 close to 45 to an hour and you know I like that cuz I'm just gonna be chilling the rest of the time so I'm gonna put this over um, and my mom said that just a little idea a little note <clears throat> yeah, if you don't want your chicken to cook quickly, because sometimes when you cook a chicken quickly, it doesn't get done um, all through. So if you want your chicken, you know, all the way through done, then definitely put your little foil on there and set your temp to 350, uh, 350 degrees, and then place your chicken in the oven. You ain't got to keep, she's mama said, Girl, you ain't got to keep running back and forth to the oven. Let that chicken do it. What it do? Set your timer to 45 minutes. Once your timer goes off, then you go check on your chicken. It's going to have some juices, some liquids. Put all those juices and liquids back onto the chicken. Take the little foil off and then put it, place them back in the oven for the rest of the time. And then when your timer goes off for the second time, go check on him and make sure he's, he's thoroughly cooked all the way through. Because this is what mama said. Listen, y'all. Ain't nobody got time for no no uh, medium rare bird. <laughs> so um, that's what kind of um, tips my mom gave me to give to you guys. And she also gave it to me. So I just put that in the oven, in the center of the um, oven. And um, I'm not going to even watch it. I'm just going to walk away. But I just used this Reynolds wrap, Wrappers um, Luna Foil, which I purchased at Dollar Tree. Um, <coughs> excuse me, you guys. I've been sick, so excuse me. So I'm gonna clean up this area. I went to Tom Thumb today and I bought um a couple of items. So this is gonna be a small haul for what I bought. Um, just some quick the 12 single smart food white cheddar cheese popcorns from Smart Foods. These were only three dollars, um, and some change, and it has 12 singles. So I can have these for the rest of the week. Um, I was gonna get Boom Chicka Pop, but they were not on sale. They were like five bucks for just 
six bags just like this. So I decided I can get these instead of Boom Chicka Pop because I can save money doing that. And then for my sides with with the um <coughs> for my sides with the chicken, I'm gonna have some Brussels sprouts because I really love Brussels sprouts. These were only this big old pack was only five bucks. And I really liked it. The fresh one, the freshest ones that they had, um, they had them for like a dollar ninety-eight, but they were like they weren't so fresh. They was like kind of funky, like brown and black. But um, I definitely went ahead and got these because they look super fresh. And I normally get my Brussels sprouts from uh, um, Sprouts Foods, but I didn't have time to go there today, so I just decided to get something. Some thumb, thumb, thumb had also a sale on their um their uh pit sweets farm and you if you buy one you get one free so i bought the deluxe baby broccoli florets and then i decided to get this right here seasoning mix um i really love their seasoning mix because in this one um it just has like you know your regular bell peppers um onions and then it has like you know <coughs> chopped up celery I don't like like big celery but I'm probably gonna have to start eating it but this has like a mixture of like you know your seasoning blends and I, that's why I was telling you guys yesterday like I like I love the ones that are already chopped because they are so good look and it's like it tells you it's great for spaghetti meatloaf chili you know you can make this with anything um and it's very quick to use um what else do we have okay and then I got AJJ some um some of the sick signature select cinnamon graham crackers we really like them like cold milk and then i got some crystal light and i didn't know it was with caffeine but i'm still gonna drink it but um yeah the fact that it doesn't have sugar in it like and no carbs and it's only five calories like i'm really gonna start getting these besides drinking like the bad stuff like Jack in the Box um, little drinks here. This is the biggest one, but but yeah, I'm gonna start just getting some of these and just say and forget Jack in the Box stuff. But anywho, that's all that I got from Tom Thumb. Um, like I said, the birds in the oven, and I'm definitely gonna come back and show you guys um, what else, like what the what the chicken looks like when it's done. Oh, uh, it's been 45 minutes. Just took um, the chicken out the oven. So let's see what it looks like underneath. It looks like it's starting to cook. I got some juices going over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to get some of that juice and put it on top of the chicken. So let me grab my spoon. Wash the spoon off real quick. And I'm just going to go from the bottom and just get some of those juices. It's just kind of... The juice is pretty much is the butter and kind of baste this chicken off so it can be nice and tender. And the onions are smelling really good. Everything is smelling so, so good. Had my mama saying, dang girl, you got to smell it right up in this thing. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm just going to baste this really quick and then I'll show you the um, after I'm done. And then I'm going to put it back into the oven for another 35, 45 minutes. And then this last takeout will be, um, hopefully the chicken will be done. Uh, if not, I'll just put it back in there. Um, and say it's supposed to be like an hour to 45 minutes till the chicken gets done. So I'm just trying to time it so that I can get it right. Here's AJJ. Hi. He's sick. He looks so sick. I'm going to show you something. And... He has his shirt on today. What what does your shirt say? It's the Wi-Fi is down. Guess I'm going outside today. Yeah. Show them your car. Y'all know he got to show y'all a new wait, different car every wait, time he comes wait, on here. Wait. So, yeah, he's got to fix that. And I'm going to be right back. So, now it's time for me to put him back in the oven. Went ahead and took some of that extra butter from the bottom. Put it on top so that can be a juicy, juicy chicken. Um... I mean, like I said, it smells so freaking good, you guys. So if I was y'all, try this at home too as well. 
Y'all don't be ashamed because it's y'all first time cooking the chicken because guess what? It's my first time cooking one too. I wonder can I put this in there with one hand without dropping it? Oh, wow. Okay, hold on just a second, you guys. I gotta use two hands. So, as you can tell, I just put that chicken in there in the center with the handle facing forward because sometimes I get scared when I try to go and get the chicken out. Um, I don't like to touch the inside of the stove. <laughs> but I took the foil off and I have my juicer spoon here. And I'm just going to be waiting for another uh, 35, 45 minutes. And then I'll take him out again and check him and make sure that he is done. So until then, I'm just going to be making like a little fruit salad for AJJ. And then I'll come back and show you guys how I make that and all that good stuff. All right. So you guys, here's the finished product of the chicken. I went ahead and tasted a little bit and it was really, really good. Like, really, I don't even know if it's done yet, but I'm sure mom, when she looked at it, she was like, it smells good, it looks good. I would say it's done, but it looks really good. I like those juices. We're going to probably take those sticks out when it's time to eat. So I'm just doing some quick vegetables because I was going to do some of the Brussels sprouts because I've been really wanting some of those. But I'm not going to have time to roast those. So I'm, I have some um, broccoli going, which has a nice sauce to it. And then the um, only thing that I put in, and then in this pot over here, we have some boiling rice in the bag. So I have two bags of that. I don't know. It said four cups of water, so I hope that that'll do. If not, then I'll add more water. Um, that looks like, uh, where is it? Excuse me. This right here. So it'll be like the success ball in bag, pre-cooked brown rice, whole grains. And it's only 180 calories, so yeah. And for his bread, I think we're just gonna have regular bread. I'm not gonna have any bread because I haven't been wanting any bread. Um, but if anybody else wants some, that's fine. But yeah, these are the three dishes that I'm having and a chicken. So, yes, guys, this is for dinner. You guys have a great Monday night. We love you. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment below. And I'll definitely reply back. I love you guys. Bye.